Chapter 2, Wonderful Worms. Earthworms are an essential part of soil ecosystems and one of the major decomposers on Earth. If you looked out at a field of cows, the worms living in the soil under the field might weigh more than all the cows combined. Without worms and their poop, called casts, we would not have the rich, fertile soil needed to grow the food we eat. Worms take large pieces of things like dead leaves, manure, and even cardboard, pull them below the surface of the soil, shred them, and digest them until they are small enough for bacteria to consume. Worms use the energy storage molecules in dead matter and oxygen they take in through their skin to perform cellular respiration, releasing energy and giving off carbon dioxide. The worm's shredded and partially digested food mixes with the soil, and all the nutrients contained in the dead matter become available for new plants to use. Worms also digest soil and turn it into nutrient-rich casts, which help plants grow. One earthworm can produce about 10 pounds of casts in one year. That's a lot of poop. The first picture caption says, worms are decomposers that live in the soil. The second picture caption says, this cutaway view shows worms beneath the surface of the soil. One worm is dragging a dead leaf underground. The worm will partially digest the leaf leaving pieces small enough for bacteria to consume. Next up, we're going to chapter four, soil bacteria by the billions. In addition to the decomposers we can see, there are even more that are too small to see. Many billions of tiny bacteria live in the soil. These microscopic decomposers work all the time to break down dead matter. After worms and other bigger decomposers have broken dead matter down into smaller pieces, soil bacteria break down the dead matter even further. These bacteria are able to get at the energy storage molecules remaining in the dead matter, using those molecules to release energy. Many kinds of bacteria perform cellular respiration, taking the carbon trapped in dead matter and putting it back into the ecosystem as carbon dioxide. There are many thousands of species of soil bacteria some are very sensitive to changes in temperature and chemical composition of soil, while others are very hardy and can handle severe heat and cold. Some can even lay dormant for many years, waiting for just the right conditions. No matter what, you can be sure that healthy soil will contain many bacteria, as many as a billion per teaspoon. The first picture caption says, soil bacteria can't be seen by the naked eye, but they can be seen under a microscope. This image of soil bacteria has been magnified 17,000 times larger than their actual size. Second picture. This image has been magnified 9,700 times. It shows a tiny root hair from a plant covered with even smaller bacteria. <laughs>